February 1943. The siege of Leningrad has now lasted a staggering 520 days. A corridor on the south shore of Lake Ladoga is now open to supply the starving city, but because the corridor is only a few kilometers wide and under constant attack, the siege has not been fully lifted yet. Georgi Zhukov therefore decides to attempt a double encirclement of the German units around Leningrad. If successful, the operation will see the German 18th Army encircled. Operation Polar Star starts on February 10th. One of its goals is to take Tosno. The main attack is centered on the highway and railroad that lead there, right through Krasny Bor. This village, southeast of Leningrad, will take center stage in this mission. The initial attack is met by the Spanish Blue Division, who have dug in a handful of AT guns and a few artillery pieces around the village. In this mission, you will be defending a number of strategic points against attacks from the Soviets. Tell your troops to expect attacks from all sides. Improvise if you have to. You cannot afford to lose your headquarters. Soldiers of the 215th Infantry Division, listen up! The Soviet counter-offensive is at large. The Bolsheviks are eager to break the Leningrad encirclement and are dashing towards your defenses with armor. Everything is at stake. Today is the day where the Red Wave will meet the Blue Wall. You already defeated the Communists once, and I'm confident you will do it once more. Your objective is to hold a rear headquarters at all costs, but it will also be convenient to secure our secondary key objectives. The railway station, the artillery battery, and the communications vehicle, which you need to keep operational to maintain radio contact to call for reinforcements. I regret to inform you our anti-tank weaponry is in extremely short supply. However, we have reserves of mines and grenades to deal with enemy tanks. The enemy has commenced to bombard our first line. Get to work laying minefields and prepare for the enemy assault. Welcome back, Commander. Krasny Bor, the defense of. This is going to be an enormous tank, Zerg. Reinforcements are now at your disposal. It's not going to be much in the way of infantry at all. Um, just... The old trick, the old tank riders, but nothing to speak of. Just an intense amount of uh, Soviet armor. So I'm going to spend half an hour setting up. I've missed a few tricks, and I'll mention them later. Um, I'm going to try and deploy minefields, just crazy amounts of minefields, right at the top, right on the north of the map. Um, just as many as I can possibly lay. And the reinforcements I'll take are going to be artillery. I'm going to take uh, two or three artillery units. You get four men in each artillery unit and they're going to man all the mortars and machine guns that are unmanned, the white, uh, the white inverted Vs on the, on the mini-map. There's quite a few of them. And the rest are going to be uh, possibly basic infantry and I'll arm them up with anti-tank grenades. To man the front trenches and essentially uh, anti-tank miners who come with 35 mines of their own which is a substantial amount and we'll line all the avenues of advance we're going to lie um, I'm particularly worried about about that top road you see the strong black line um, in the top third of the map I want to mine in front of that road, but it's in artillery range of the enemy. So while I'm mining it, I'm going to be dying. Great. Well, I'd like to stop them there because that keeps them um, from shooting into my from shooting into my uh, defensive positions. The two rotating triangles in the bottom centre. 
That's where all the mines are. There's a whole load of anti-tank grenades and landmines in those positions. So I'll be using that as my as, as my rally point for my troops. If they're not mining, they'll be sent there. If they run out of mines, they'll be sent there. And speed is of the essence. Um, half an hour isn't long enough to prepare this as well as I'd like. Fast forward through a lot of the setup, I don't think you really need to watch men running over. But I'm sure you get the idea. So you see here, look, they've been taking damage. Those guys have all dropped their weapons, they've been artillery strike. And it's also, if you see the row of dots behind them, the artillery strikes are setting off the mines they're laying. Not just killing them, it's destroying my mine field. Bah, humbug. But nonetheless, we're going to chuck them all in. Those that run out of mine are going to set back. We're going to send straight back to rearm. Yeah. We'll make sure we've spawned some artillery men. They're the cheapest possible units. You get four for 50. And we're just going to chuck them into all the mortars. Look, so here they are manning a mortar pit. Um, the first two out of four will go in there. I'll chuck two out of four in another mortar bit behind it. Place them on mines at the front, at the junctions and in the roads. Um, and as you can see, the artillery strikes are constant and uh, damaging me they're a problem but we're just going to have to soak it i'm being very conscious to get um as you can see the fully over to the left flank fully over to the right flank and the center uh, they're after the artillery point the train yard and the central communications vehicle so i'm making sure that my minefields extend all the way across the map on the three on the three prongs of advance be summoning as many uh anti-personnel, sorry, anti-tank mine people as I can, or the merrier, just chuck a few more in there, 150 points each, grabbing all the available anti-tank mines and sending them off on their way, right up to the top of the map, which take them ages to get there, to deploy as many as they can, as fast as they can. I'm going to pay, uh, pay particular attention to this railway track, it's in a depression, tanks can sneak all the way down there unshot at and just pop up outside outside the communications base it's very dangerous so I'm going to be making sure that's heavily mined here we go look with a lot of overlapping minefields quite a lot out there more to come got my little medic on his way to uh, heal some of those wounded soldiers who are melaying the mines every little helps might as well keep what I can alive as I run out of uh, anti-tank mines to place, I'm going to start putting in anti-personnel ones. They're anti-personnel mines. They're a secondary concern. Um, I'm almost going to get no personnel. They're going to do almost nothing. But hey, I've got them. I've got the time to lay them. Let's chuck them in. See what happens. I'll also be laying some mines in a second line of defence behind the road, behind my own trenches. Uh, for those tanks that break through, let's keep them... They are going to rush. They are going to break through. Defence in depth. Now, you know I can't resist a medic tent. I'm going to stick one down at the uh, at the, at the command centre, at the ultimate point I've got to keep. Everybody loves a medic tent. Now I know what they are and how to use them. I can't resist it. They're going to give them a big healing tent. They're going to love it. I'm placing some mines all along the whole road. Um, it's a bit closer into my lines than I'd like to mine, but at the very least, at least these artillery strikes aren't demining them. You know, all that stuff I'm sticking out there, lots of it just isn't it's getting destroyed as fast as I lay it. So at least this mine on this road, the line should at least survive until tanks drive on it. With all the mines deployed, 
Uh, I'm going to be sending the troops back to re to at least arm them with anti-tank grenades. And I'm favouring like these magnetic anti-tank grenades. You know, it's going to stick to the tank if they throw it at it. Clang, and then tick, tick, boom. Yeah, I really like magnetic hand grenades. Uh, that's them. That'll be our preferred use of anti-tank grenade. In the final few minutes, in the last four or five minutes, I'm just cycling through each of my troops to check that they've all got anti-tank grenades. And those that haven't um, tend to be the ones that I've spawned in myself, my new reinforcements. And they'll be sent back to the ammunition dump to pick some up and then sent back out to the to the trenches where they belong. Here they all are, look, arrived at the uh, resupply point. Big droves of them. Give them all the hand grenades I can give them, all the anti-tank ones and anything else. Might even stick in some dynamites and some satchel charges, but mostly all those anti-tank grenades, that's what we really need. And then uh, with them collected up, I'll just set them off and find them a nice trench each. Smack in the middle of the action. Or at least smack in the middle of where I think the action's going to be. Because that might not go according to plan. So, time has run out. Let's have a countdown. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One! It's gonna kick off. That was a tense moment. Well. The enemy is approaching. You can tell where they are coming from as they will use flares to light up the path for their tanks. Hold out until sunrise. No step back. Sunrise, eh? So they're gonna fire flares. We'll see where they're coming from. Right, eh? That'll help. I mean, hopefully, wherever they come from, it doesn't matter. It did say in the briefing that uh, we will be getting attacked from all sides. Uh huh. Now, I really mind the front. So, all sides. And see what happens. Now, some of the things I intend to do when I get the manpower, you see, I've got 41 at the moment. When I get to 50, I'll probably buy some artillery men. These are the cheapest units. For resupply, they come in groups of four. My intention is to use them as reserves to repair and crew tanks. So essentially, I'm going to use them as tank crew for any Russian tanks I can capture. I can deman once I've ripped the men out. Then I'll use artillery men. About one unit per tank, unless it's a tankette. And the other thing I intend to do is to build some field engineers, some guys running, mobile guys running around with repair kits to repair those said demand enemy tanks. I think my uh, medics off for a heroic revival. There's a guy right in the front trenches, right in the middle of the Zerg, it's supposed to all be coming any second. And uh, my medics decided this is the time to make his move. He's a brave, brave boy. And a fast runner. Go on, boy. You can make it. So, a bit of tension. Will he make it? See that guy down there in the trench? Glowing. He's been hit by artillery, I suppose. Well, here comes the first tankette. Got a Dushka on it. It's got like a 50 cal. And now four men sitting on the back. Some men sitting on the back. I haven't um, spawned any AT detachments, which is blokes with anti-tank rifles, which would be perfect for knocking those things out. I haven't gone with any of them. I went more with anti-tank mines. So we've got some kind of anti-tank guns out there. A lot of them are just anti-aircraft guns. But not much. So what I wish to do, as the fight progresses, is to capture as many tanks as possible because I want their anti-tank weapons and use them as second row uh, anti-tank. You know, right, so behind our lines, hanging back, popping, whatever they can pop. That's what I'd like to use them for. Oh, look, that heavy machine gun's damaged already. So he's going to start the repair, look. He's going to go straight in there. 
And I think speed is of the essence. The faster I can get those repaired and moved to behind my lines, the better. So I haven't spawned any engineers. I'm out of points at the moment, so I'll just be using some of my fearless trench guys, frontline troops, to get the repair started. Here they are. Here's the engineer guys. Their job is going to be repair tanks. I'll just put them up in that trench for the meantime and get them up close. I'm putting them in the trench so that I don't have to micromanage them. If I forget about them and don't get back in time, they're not. I don't find them dead five minutes later. We can see he's got the repair icon above his head and that little blue bar, just the twinkling of a little blue bar of how repaired, how far the progress meter for his repairs. That's quite useful. Maybe used to have that in the old game. I don't find their repairing to be effort free. Quite often, for example, I've clicked on him to repair something and I'm thinking, repair the whole tank and he's thinking, oh, just repair the track that you clicked on. No, I want you to repair everything. Don't stop till it's done. But there you go, it doesn't always work. So I have to keep my eye on them for that. They're a bit work shy, these repair guys. What else can I afford? Some more repair guys. Get yourselves up to the front, boys. And I'll stick I'll try and stick them somewhere somewhere where I might meet where I think where A it's safe, like a good serious trench. B where I hope to capture tanks in the future. So that's my artillery squad, look, my reserve of tank men, of uh, wannabe tank men. If there is no artillery, I mean, you know, it's a, got a cannon in it, it's artillery. It should be good for the job. And again, look, I'll stick them up the front somewhere aggressive, you know, defensive posture in a, in a trench or a building or whatever. The Russians don't seem to be in a rush, do they? Assuming they are Russians. They could be anything, are they? Soviet troops. Leningrad, you'd have thought they were. So there's my repair guys, that special operation repair guys, repair that tank. And they're not doing it because they're just lazy. I mean, what was the point, eh? Bought you really expensive unit points. Oh, okay. So I'm looking for something to do. This is what they could do. They could build tank traps. Since they're not going to repair, they might as well give them tank traps. Could be useful, right? Could block the block the enemy's advance. Could be a neat trick. So yeah, tank traps. I'm quite inspired by tank traps. I've got 40. Oh, I don't know if they'll get any off. But that little tank gets got um, a cannon on it, like a small anti-tank gun. Early war anti-tank gun. Low penetration job, but you know. Tank gun's a tank gun. Could use it. It's almost done it. Almost repaired it. Will it really be prepared? Repaired so Dotting again. Right, get in and find out. 
Uh, I don't want to sit to stick around and fight. I want it to just rush off behind my... Oh, no, let's see. He hasn't finished the job. Turret's going around there, look. I might shoot those infantry for me. Yes, I'd like to use these, you know, as mobile infantry hunters later on in the game. I'd like them running around behind my lines react as a reaction force. Building those tank traps, look, sealed that road. I don't know how this is going to affect the game. I mean, the tanks presumably will drive around it now, which might funnel them into, I don't know, into I don't know what. I don't really know where my, I say all my anti-tank guns. I've got a few anti-tank guns. I don't really know where they are. If I could block off the entire map, that'd be alright, wouldn't it? It's the only thing that's going to annoy them. So there you go, all the way. I've asked him to go across the entire map with tank traps. I wonder if he'll live long enough to do that or have enough on him. A bit disappointed with them, really. I, I wanted them to, you know, I bought two units of this guy's, these field engineers, to fix up the tanks, and they're not fixing up the tanks. They haven't even got repair kits on them. Uh, yeah. Anyway, tank traps. With the benefit of hindsight, I should have spawned some tank traps in the defence phase and made a big funnel that drove all the tanks into, you know, onto the same spot. And, and drove all the tanks onto a big minefield. That looks like sunrise. Do you think that's sunrise? Think that's boom, daylight? Suddenly got a lot lighter on. Maybe they've Flares. I don't know. This guy's not manning his machine gun. Now. stuck there. 50 calling all my trenches. Right, so can you get that out of there? Now I've put tank traps right in front of you so you can't escape. And he hasn't repaired it yet, it's still yellow. It's three times I've asked him to repair that tank, three times he hasn't done it. Pierced. So these guys, I'm just going to move them out of the line of fire. What's the point? They just keep shooting them until they're dead otherwise. I don't fancy sending any infantry out there to throw a hand grenade at them. It's, it's an anti tank thing, it'll just massacre them. So again, same with these guys, demand that. Demand that machine gun. Can't do it with that mate. Might as well duck mate. See if he runs out of targets, if he just keeps blasting. So he looks, you know, fairly neutralised. At some point he'll get bored, get out, repair himself and drive on in and then hopefully explode. So I'm sending in a anti tank detachment. My idea is that they'll come and Pop that armored car from somewhere up here. Put it out of my mis put it out of my misery. I'm just going to leave them to it. They know what they're doing. Here's these uh, tank trap guys. Yep, they've got more tank traps they can deploy. A whole 17 of them. I 
I say, I mean, I just don't know how useful that's going to be, but having bought them, I've got nothing else I can think of to do with them. Like they don't, they don't have any mines, they don't have any repair. Bah! Still, they've got tank traps. Tank traps are epic. Just what we need. Like, get on with it. I mean, that's put it across that that um, that depressed railway track I was worried about. Let's kind of close that off, I think. I mean, how helpful that is after I've mined the hell out of it. I don't know. Some more anti-tank guys spawned. Again, I'm going to send them up to get a flanking position on that annoying armoured car that's keeping all my front trench suppressed. And see if they've got the right gear to pop it. I think they're good against light armour. I think they're absolutely useless against medium and heavy armour. You know, a pointless waste of... I think once I'm fighting T-34s and and beyond, they're utterly useless. So these tank traps, I, I'm kind of... Not sure if that, just not sure about them yet. I could very easily just be moving these, stopping the, stopping the Russian tanks from going through my minefield, just you know, rerouting them around them all. <laughs> Might not be smart, but what the hell. Um, so what I want to do as well is to try and place them around my uh, communications vehicle, the green cheese wedge in the bottom centre of the uh, in the lower middle of the minimap that's the critical unit we have to defend I might try and tank trap all the way around that in a big triangle so that just no tanks can actually physically drive into it into that region I think with the benefit of hindsight I'd, play, I'd have placed a line of tank traps from left to right across the map two of them one up at the road and one, you know, just tank trapped off all the critical units, all the the artillery, the train station, the communications van. So this is my anti-tank rifle guy fighting the. Fighting vehicle, and I don't think it's going well for him. What do you think? I oh, know he's dead. One of them's dead. Yes, senor. So a, yeah, no, he's dead. The anti tank right, yeah. guy is, is dead. And he's like, dropped Our field the hospital other side is in bags. danger, so close to the front line. Thanks, I man. have ordered its immediate relocation. You must protect it at all so costs. over on the right, it's hard to see with my uh, mini map being obscured by the resupply buttons. But over on the right, there's uh, a medical base, a forward hospital. Um, it wants me to move it. Oh, it moves itself. It wants me to. Three trucks will drive off, and we're supposed to cover them as they drive away. I'm a bit worried that I've tank trapped it and they can't get out. <laughs> so, it's just not having any luck sniping that thing. It's, oh, no, no, hang on. Is it flashed? Is it dead? Yeah, no, he's done it. No, I'm not sure. It's flashing. I think he's done it. Maybe not. We'll put these uh, anti tank guys here to cover the retreat of. Oh. Trying to get the hospital out before these tanks get in. Now interestingly, that's a Valentine tank. That's a British tank that's been sent to the Russians as part of um, as aid, basically, as military aid. So the three-man tank should be very heavily armoured. 
granddaddy back drove one of those into the desert ramp and that's what they gave him Should be being a British tank. It should be slow, undergunned, and extremely heavily armed. I'm gonna whatever shooting it, it's just gonna run out of ammo, isn't it? It's just gonna clean whatever anti-tank gun is wasting its bullets. I had a look round for some um, infantry to go and hand grenade that, but none of them are particularly close and it's got that sort of infantry fighting vehicle and the anti-infantry basically and it's, I don't think we'd get in there so see right behind it there are troops with hand grenades near but it's not one uh, the green look the green cheeses heading heading the bottom centre that's the three hospital trucks the mobile hospital is moving got to keep them alive got to keep all the green units alive they're mission critical He's got a hand grenade. Do I want to zero in these two tanks? Oh my god, there's two more tanks coming. Three more tanks coming. Over to there. Uh, uh, there's one man with his hand grenade. He's just... No, duck, mate. Hide. We get that little one, right? Can somebody get that? Yeah. Have a look at this car. Ah, right, so the tank rush on the left, broken through my lines, gone through all my mind, this was T-34. I mean, no, I want to capture that. That would be useful. No, just landing on that one, not doing anything. They're going, do you? I mean, they're just having a big scenic tour somehow. Want to drive? Judging by what's happened, judging by where those green things are, if they'd have driven due south from their start position, they'd already have they'd have done it by now. Instead, they went all the way west, then south. Now they're going all the way east, and then they're, what are they playing at? Drugs. So, once again, oh no, here's my field engineers. Are you going to flip in, fix that tank? You're an engineer, get to it. So, this is my, and my artillery. Remember, I had four special artillery to be as uh, work operate as tank crews for stolen tanks. There they are. They reached it. Now, they've manned it. What's it look like? It's working, the gun looks knackered, the armour looks knackered, the engine looks knackered, the tracks look knackered, but I think the turrets are so much better. The evacuation of the hospital was a success. Our wounded will live to fight once more. Yes, Johnny Good. It's a miracle they got alive and that their IQ. Doesn't seem to have that tank. Doesn't seem to have any. Uh, the T34 doesn't seem to have any repair toolkits. So I'm nick one out of that little tankette. This little. Where's the other two? There's loads. Last time there was like four or five. Uh, 
So more anti-tank guys. Um, I think we're now at the point where anti-tank troops are useless. They're quite expensive. 120 for like three troops, only one of which has an anti-tank rifle. And I think it's basically ineffective against the level of tanks the Soviets are now advancing with. I think that's hopefully the last of those I'll try and buy. Artillery units, however, I'll keep slapping them out for every bunch of tank. You get yourself on the gun, you've got nothing in bed to do, you've got no other weapon. Oh no, look, he's still there! He's still there! Ah, oh, and he's... Uh. Just have a quick save. Since we've got the... Uh, Throwing the rubbish grenades, aren't doing much, are they? So the grenades were flying off it. That was kind of a suicide attack. But. So those weren't the sticky grenades, those weren't magnetic grenades. They were kind of. They weren't really doing the same. Well, that was a bit suicidal, but I think I've got a medic nearby who can at least revive one of them. In the explosion, they've lost their guns. I'm having trouble telling him to pick up what's down there because he uh, doesn't like the trench. Ah, so what he's missing is it? Nah, uh, gun. to fight again. It's a bit, I mean, I shall have put a 10 up. Come on, let's have a 10. Um, you know, that I have to tell my AI to pick up a gun when they don't have a gun and they're standing in a pile of guns in the middle of a war. Mm. If the AI came smart enough to do that on its own. No, oh, there's the tent, mate. Go on. Build it. And that would heal those guys. Last, I didn't even get it off, but. What's going on up here? This is where I think we're weakest. I quite like that he's having to drive down the whole front side onto whatever anti tank is shooting at him. It's when he gets to the end here, that's kind of a glut of Russian armour that I think is going to be a problem. Oh, after all that, I've put, I've put another anti tank in. Where should we stick him? Somewhere out of the fight, I'm thinking. Oh, these guys put some tank traps down. I was gonna, remember I said I wanted to tank trap off the entire centre. You know, that green cheese like in the centre of the minimap that I'm trying to protect. I want a tank trap. Oh, that, yeah. All that to there. That's, that way and build a kind of triangle of tank traps around him that have impenetrable tank traps those dynamite sticks in the uh, and those satchel charges I should think will blow up the tank trap quite neatly well, the breakthrough look centre left little tanker I don't think I've got anything to stop it 
I need to uh, stop that. Let's man that, see if we can get a shot off at it. Can I even fire? Have we even got a working gun? Right, the guy sitting on the back doesn't need to even get off. This is this could be the end of the game. This could be a, a defeat right here. Let me try to shoot them. I've got nothing to stop him. I've got, I've got the infantry with a hand grenade. Enemy tanks are approaching our headquarters. See to it. They need to be destroyed immediately. I'll shoot you. Oh, hey. Well, something's got him. Okay. In this case, we need somebody to steal that. It's a stealable tank, isn't it? Right beyond the lines. So here's some more tank traps to be built. No, the sandbags aren't tank traps. Get into these tank traps now. I think they're the way forward. So medic, go and fix that truck. I bet he hasn't got room in his inventory to pick up a toolkit. And now they found two toolkits before they couldn't find one. Obviously, I'd like that to be repaired enough to turn around and face face armor. Is that what they call it? It's just present its armor, the hard point of its armor to the enemy onslaught. So it's just showing its ass. The tanks on the far right corner, buried hidden behind the uh, reinforcement spots, but they're still there. And that tank in the centre seems to be, I don't seem to be able to deal with either of them. However, look at these two that broke through. That's where the two missing ones were. Look. I was looking for those. They got all the way down there. And they're repairable. We'll have them. And what stopped him? And I've sent some, uh, spawned some more artillery crews, and they can go over there and uh, heal and man them, repair and man them rather. Now, also up the front there, uh, I can see uh, look, this anti-tank gun is unmanned, mortars manned, but just ahead of it in the camouflage nets, that's some kind of anti-tank gun that's lost its crew. Luckily, I've just spawned some artillery men, and that, to me, looks like artillery. And all, I haven't checked it. I bet you it's got no ammo, but on the off chance, let's get it going. Let's get yeah another artillery bunch. Since one of them is now going to go on that gun. Can you heal it? No, probably just hasn't got room in his inventory. I could juggle around with it and stuff, but <sighs> too much micromanagement. There's other things to do. And stand next to your tent. Okay, bring him back for a second line defence. Like it. Well, that was, you know, that was the plan all along. Get him about there, spun around, faced armour, 
can use him as, a, as an anti-tank gun. All right, don't let the enemy tanks overrun the headquarters. Okay, yeah, we'll save this. Because they might do. Seem to be healing all right. Tiene algo para nosotros, dando sus órdenes, capitán. Sus órdenes. Sí, señor. Vamos para allá. Now these boys are light. They might like to leave the job half done. I've got a lot of them. Sus órdenes. Sí, señor. All of you, get to work. All those beautiful little repair symbols. Oh, 20 minutes. Uh, if you're still here, please like and subscribe. Um, likes get more people to watch, which obviously I want. And subscribes, hopefully, will alert you when I make the next one, which I will be doing. Now, uh, this is the fourth in the German campaign. I've done the uh, Soviet campaign. I'll finish this one which I think, this week. And then I'm going to buy the two expansion packs, which have a Finland campaign. Uh, I can't remember what's the name of the Finnish war against the Russians. The Winter War, which I presume is the Winter War, so that could be quite interesting. Um, and then they also have uh, another expansion pack, which has the. <laughs> Which I think is the one that has the Thor, the massive, massive mortar the size of a house that sort of drives around on, on enormous amounts of tracks and artists and all that. And so I'll do those two. Um, so there should be, I'd have thought, using stock campaigns, there should be another. I don't know, 15 to 20. 20 more playthroughs to come. So yeah, if you do, if you are still watching, please consider subscribing. I have more to show you. Thank you for your patience. Oh, look at that. It's and they are out. I thought from the mini map that, that tank was dead and wondered and it was a sort of rogue broken AI still blasting at a dead tank, but no, men in it. So I've ordered some more artillerymen, we're going to rush them over there and we're going to essentially try and ninja Russian tanks in the middle of battle. So I need all the anti-tank I can get and they provide it. Nothing else can do. Is that a KV? Is that a big one? Let's break through here. So we've got one tank fully operational and the other tank that had about five blokes repairing it hasn't been repaired at all. They're just so lazy. No, they're just starting it from the beginning. I mean, so I'm not sure that's true. They haven't repaired the core armour. They've probably repaired all the tracks and the guns. And the but this is a problem. We've got a T-34 in my base. The mission is to not allow the T-34 in my base. Oh, hang on, it's my T-34. No, it's not. No, it really isn't. Uh, this could be game over right here. I've sent that little B captured BT to come and stab in the back. He seems to be engaging it. The artillery really doesn't like that tank. Good. These are my um, artillery men I'm going to use as tank crew on their way up to the tank graveyard on the top left. So I think that was my BT tank coming to the rescue to backstab that T-34. You guys will just see your way through to 
not being completely lazy. That'd be good. Yeah, there you go. You've got toolkit, hands, hands, toolkit. Very good. Seems to be doing it now. I mean, should I trust him? Dead guy down by that blood tank that just got into the base. And there's a medic nearby, so maybe he can revive him. Check it out. I don't know which one the medic is. The one with the big red cross, do you think? Might be him. Where's he over there? This says medic. This is definitely the medic. It's not, he wasn't giving me an easy revive icon, so. Kind of got a mouse around perfectly. So it's still the same problems in the centre, top centre and top right. We've got tanks stuck up there that I can't really deal with. But at least they're not coming in, right? If I can get these guys to all start repairing, I mean, that'd be useful, wouldn't it? That's like a JS or, or a... Sorry, an IS, a Yusuf. A Yusuf Stalin. I want to get these guys doing as much repairs as fast as they can. You know, even if I don't get them mobile, a static anti-tank gun is, a, is, is wanted at this point. I don't know how many shots I get off, but it's just worth it. the turret. That's it. Spinning. One presented. Shooting the turret. Yes. Okay. That, that's basically neutralised. Trying to get getting through behind us. So going down the main road, down the centre of town. Someone's got past us. Again, that's the road that they've actually been getting into the base on. So I could really use more defences of some description, some more artillery men to attack the graveyard and get to work. Oh, the tanks coming. It's a big push. It's a big getting bigger. Oh, I don't have much to hold that back. Sent armour. Almost in the artillery. Artillery should have murdered it. Now that's the one I was worried about heading into my main base. So that's good news. Went the wrong way and got killed. There's a big one here. Oh, yeah, no. KV. Oh, God. Nothing was hurting that. Duking out with some captured 234s. A little state repair there in. Probably not much more than the working turret and gun at this point. Oh, we've got other issues. That's repair, please. Slacking. Oh, 
10 minutes to hold. Working KV. Your forces into a second defensive line in the village. It has been fortified for the occasion. Ah, uh, we draw to a second defensive line. You know what? I don't fancy it. I've got look at all these. You know, I'm having a huge build-up trying to make a kind of defence out of all these broken tanks. I don't fancy withdrawing. I think this is my strongest position. I'm hoping to, you know, win the tide of battle right here. Decisive play. Now, I don't think we've drawn is the right answer. No one wants me to. Tank rush on the right seems to be stalled completely by the um, either the mines or the tank traps. The mini map gradually eroding. And just win this left flank. And it's capturable and repairable. That's right behind the lines. Nothing shooting at it. Alright, so when I said earlier this tank came over here and I was expecting him to go straight to the town centre, that's because the tank traps sent him way over there. I'm trying to drive around them. This looks bad, look, KV, all mines, mines, mines. Didn't care about the mines, did he? Maybe he did, maybe it detracted him. He's got a rear firing machine gun on his turret. He was shooting out the back of it. That's a big anti-tank gun shooting at him. I didn't even know he had that. Boys, you've got a working tank. That's what you get when you do some work. A nice tank to play with. Oh, it's a three man crew, might take the guy off the back. Park him somewhere. I'd send him over to this KV, except that I don't think his gun will even dent it. Don't do anything to it, we'll just kind of die there. So the artillery working on it. Another tank breakthrough on the left here. Now these guys are going to repair enough tanks in time to stop it. Yeah, 
tent. No, I mean, it's got a functional gun. Zerg on the right. I can't see it. Behind. Can you just see the minimap behind, hidden behind the re reinforcements? Duh, didn't spot that. Making healthy progress on the right. The left seems to be broadly repelled. The centre attack seems to have stalled. Four minutes to defend the headquarters. I think this is doable. Well, there's that little tank that didn't make it wrong. Oh god. Oh, and there goes the anti tank. The right hand side has collapsed. I've got nothing there to stop a tank. There's two tanks there, there's two, damn it. Well, make it one. There's a turret coming one. Just hang on. We've only got to hold for like three minutes. Distract them for three minutes. That's all they have to do. You kite one away, shoot him and run off and see if he chases you. Got another... I haven't spawned an AT detachment. That's how desperate I am there. seconds. Is it victory at 50 seconds time or just the map unfold and something else happen? Um, if nothing else happens, just in case this is the end, uh, thanks for coming folks. Thanks for uh, hanging out with me and uh, I hope to see you again sometime. Please stand by and meet me for the next one. are raising. I'm feeling slightly elated. I'm predicting victory. Got a countdown. 10, 
9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Oh no, objective fail, what? Back to the train station. Good job, Soldaten. We still we win? Have once again made the Vaterland proud. Yes, we do. Okay, folks. Thank you very much. See you again, I hope.